exercise bike do you need? In this video, I'm gonna give you some top tips to ensure that your bike fits like a glove. Now, there are a few considerations you need to take into account before picking the frame size for you. Frames come in a range of different sizes, from extra small or extra extra small, all the way to extra large or extra extra large. And this is all measured on the tubing of the frame. Majority of brands will give a basic scale so that you have a good idea of where you fit in on the size of bikes available. Now this is normally done on your height. This is a decent guide and a good rough starting point, but don't take these sizes as gospel because sizing between different brands might not be the same. Now before you pick your bike, there's a few considerations that you need to take into account. Mainly that your saddle is at the right height and in the right position. Your reach to the bars to be the right length and your drop from saddle to bar to be optimal. Now these are all measurements that you can adapt and adjust no matter what size of bike you go for. The reason why it's so important to get your frame size right is get a frame too small or too large, you're going to over or under compensate for it. For example, if you have a too small frame, your seat post could be overextended and you're gonna need an also really long stem which will send you miles out front. And then get a frame size too large, it's gonna be too high and you're gonna feel like you're riding a shopping bike. Personally, my starting point would be saddle height. If I can find the right height, and also the saddle being in the right position, I know that I'm pretty much good for being on the right size frame. Because of the angle of the seat post, it's worth remembering that if you find the right saddle height, you also need to make sure that the saddle is in the right position too. What may happen is you'll put your saddle to the right height and your saddle won't be able to go forward enough, meaning you'll be too far behind the bottom bracket and you might be stuck sitting on the nose of the saddle. Now, if you're looking for the right saddle height, we've got plenty of videos. I'll link one in the description below so that you can find the optimal saddle height for you. If you can ride the frame with the saddle height in the perfect position, you're halfway there. It's then time to consider the upper body. Is my upper body as low and as stretched out as I want it? That's the question you need to ask yourself. The measurement called stack on a bike size or geometry is the vertical distance from bottom bracket to the center of the top of the head tube. This will impact your drop to the handlebars in your position. Higher stack, you'll have less vertical drop to the reach the bars. The reach is the horizontal distance from the center of the bottom bracket to the center of the head tube, allowing you to know how far you need to reach to hold onto the bars. Now, if you're someone who maybe isn't that flexible, has a shorter arm or torso length, you're gonna to wanna to increase your stack height and lower your reach measurement. This will give you that more comfortable feeling and position on the bike. With the opposite being true, if you're looking for a really low and aggressive race position on the bike, then the race bikes are specifically designed to keep it aerodynamically optimized and aggressive. Now these are all measurements that you can adjust no matter what size frame you get. Your saddle height is the starting point. Once you have that, then you can work out how far you want the bars to be in front of you and your gear levers. This is known as your reach and how low you want them to be too, which is your stack. It can be really helpful to try a few different bikes, like friends or hire bikes, so that you can try out some different positions. It's these three main parameters that you wanna consider before choosing your bike size. Don't just go on your saddle height, because more often than not, you'll end up with a poor fitting bike. Once you know your stack and your reach measurements, you can look at the geometry charts to make sure you pick a frame that is gonna give you the riding position that suits you. So there you have it, my top tips on choosing the right frame size for you. I hope it's helped for when you're shopping for your first bike or even your second, third, or maybe even fourth. Anyway, hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.